What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So I have a Francesca deck for you. Just out of the gate, I wanna say that this is by no means a super competitive deck. Uh, if you look three cards, four cards into the deck, you will realize that for yourself. Um, I was, you know, I, I wanted to play a different Squirtle leader. I was tired of playing Ethne all day. So I decided, you know what, let's play some Francesca. How bad, how, how bad can she really be? Um, we threw together the Elf Package because the Elf Package is pretty good in a short to medium long round one uh, because of Vanguards. These cards are like basically like Dopplers or like eight to nines when you play them. Um, and your win con is basically Francesca into Muzzle or Francesca into Uma or Francesca into Lacerate or whatever. Uh, you, you figure it out. Um, and then it runs R&R &R because uh, it basically if you can win round one, and you don't use Ragnarug, you auto win the game. Yeah, you win. Um, just because you get to round three, you can basically just double R&R. &R. They have to row stack, you play last rate, you win. Or you play one R&R, &R, uh, you play Dragoons, you move them back, you get a nice last rate, you win, whatever. Uh, this card, uh, Ragnarug is one of those cards where you get to a 10 card round three, you're gonna win the game. It's kind of like Regis, except it's a special and there's not really much setup. Uh, but yeah, it is kind of a bad card in a short round. So. Francesca, uh, Ragnarug, good in a long round. Yeah, not much more to say about it. Uh, Vigo's Muzzle, it's a 10 for 12, which is kind of awkward, but if you still Gabor, it's a 20 for 12. It's a 20 because uh, not only do you deny their Gabor, right? So uh, when you when you muzzle it, they lose five, you get plus five, so that's a 10 point swing, but they don't get five carryover. Uh, and because locks don't counter resilience, uh, yeah, if you didn't know that, uh, locks don't counter resilience because resilience is a status effect and locks don't counter statuses like shield or poison, or in this case, resilience. Uh, so if you muzzle your opponent's Gabor, you get five points of carryover. So you deny them five points on the board and five points of carryover, and you get five points and five points of carryover. The 20 point play, uh, uh, this is assuming they don't remove the Gabor. Um, yeah, otherwise it's like a, you, you remove like a botchling or something or some annoying engine. Uh, in round three, you can use this with your leader to have a 10-point leader. That's not bad. That's fine. Uh, Uma, this is kind of a fun card. You don't have to play this card, but it's fun. Um, I had one game. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, yeah, this could straight up win you the game. Is that a good thing? Uh, you could say that, oh, this card is bad for the game because RNG and create. Uh, it's not a good card. This card sucks, but it's a fun card. So if you like having fun, Uma's a fun card for you. Uh, Agora's True Form. Oh, and you know what's better than playing one Uma? Two Umas. Yeah, so you can play Uma again with your leader. Uh, Agora True Form, uh, this is like Uma, except it creates specials. Uh, create and play a special from any faction. And just note that if you do create a special, that special you can use with Francesca. So let's say you create Garrison, you could use Francesca Garrison again. So do keep that in mind when you choose a special. Maybe you want to use it again for the future. Um, this is another one of those cards. It has the word create on it and it sucks, but it's fun. Uh, every now and then you roll something crazy. Sometimes you get blanks. I've had this be like three points. Yeah, but it's a fun card. That's all that matters. Uh, Aileron, obviously good in an elf deck. Malayan, good in an elf deck. Removal, Ida, good in an elf deck. Uh, artifact removal, Trivial, they're gonna roast stack. More anti roast stack, great. Uh, Siren. It's a lock. It moves cards to allow you to get more value out of R&R and, R and last rate. Gaven fits well in an elf deck. Not very good in a short round, but I mean, this is kind of a flex card. You, you can swap it for like a Fog or a, a Milva. Up to you. Last rate, if your opponents are row stacking, last rate's a great card. Uh, and the rest of the cards are all elves. Not much more to say about that. Uh, Vanguards are very good in a short round. Dragoons are very strong with uh, Lacerate and Ragnarug. Farseer, it's a four for four and it has the word elf on it. Good card. Um, if you're scared about, if you're not worried about tempo in round one, don't play this on the range row because if you accidentally reveal like a Lacerate or a Ragnarug, your opponent's gonna change their mind when, instead of like passing. Like if you play Farseer and you reveal Ragnarug, Instead of your opponent, like, potentially passing, yeah, you got your plus two points on Farseer, but your opponent's gonna be like, oh, there's a Ragnarug. I don't want to lose the game in a long round three. I'm gonna keep bleeding. Um, yeah, don't give them that information. So every now and then you do play this on the melee row. But if you do need tempo, or it is round three, or round two and you're getting bled, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and play this on the range row. Every now and then you'll hit a special, and yeah, it's a six for four. That's pretty good. Uh, Elven Swordmaster, it's an elf. It does damage. It synergizes with other elves. 
Good card. Uh, Neophyte, obviously a good card with Aloran in any elf deck. Um, a question you might have is, why no Call of the Forest? It's an elf deck. Call of the Forest is really good in an elf deck. Um, yes, this is true, kind of. So Call of the Forest is really good in round one. Because round one, you get Aloran out. After round one, call sucks. It just does. Uh, yeah. Call in round three is pretty bad. Um, it's okay in like, uh, what's it called? An Eldane deck because you have a bunch of the, the three point elves on the board and you can get good value out of Isengrim. But this deck doesn't run Isengrim because it's the same reason with Call. Uh, Isengrim is a really good card in an elf deck in round one. After round one, Isengrim sucks. Um, yeah, so that's why there's no Isengrim in this deck because it's only good in round one. Um, if you really, really wanted to, you could play like 1k Fables, if I can find it. You could play 1k Fables and like Call of the Forest and Isengrim and you could like consistently get it out in round one. Problem with doing that is you lower your value on your vanguards. Uh, and this card's super expensive. So like you're gonna have to cut a fun card and you don't wanna cut a fun card. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't suggest that. Um, once again, this is a fun deck, right? If you lose the game off of Agora, don't get salty. If you are getting salty, stop playing the deck. It's not the deck for you. This is the deck you want to play when you're just... You want to have some fun. Fun deck. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the games, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Humans have no place in Broccolon. What changed? Uh, other decks got nerfed, and Svalbard got buffed. Both the leader and priest. The priest buff was huge. Make this chat cute again. Yes, let's make it cute again. You'll ban all the cuties? Wait, so if I ban you... What happens? Does that mean you're a cutie? Death to humans! I don't think Swordmasters is good against Ethne. I'm aware, but it doesn't matter. Because it has the word elf on it, so you keep it. So I have R&R &R in hand. I don't mind if he sees any special in my deck. Poggity. We're gonna build a big wall of cuties. Yes, let's build a big wall of cuties. We're the best regiment in the whole foreign north! Let us sing the song of the seal! Do you think we need more things to spend resources or money on in Gwent? Yes. Cosmetics. Uh, and CDPR has already said that they're going to start putting more money into this. So 100%, I think they need to put more money into... Or put more money into making cosmetics for us to purchase. Because cosmetics are the best way to support a company. Right? You don't want to make a game pay to win or, like, pay to progress or, like, in Hearthstone, like... Not pay to win, but like, holy shit, is it hard to obtain cards? Uh, spending money is the best way to do it. Whereas in Gwen, you can just play the game naturally and obtain Six cards. Guys, which is a really great feeling when you're playing a card game. Um, which is one of the great things about Gwen. But like, if you want to spend money now in Gwen, there's not really anything to spend your money on. Like, I bought the the, the Crimson Curse expansion thing, not for the cards, but strictly for the card back. Oh. Uh, because I like cosmetics, um, so yeah, they definitely need to add more, and they're going to down the road. Because like people who have been playing the game for a long time or play it on a daily basis, they they own the majority of the cards. So like, 
eggs don't matter, and even premium powder, not a huge deal. I mean, I have all the Crimson Curse, or like, okay, 95% like of the Crimson Curse, all premium, I think. Uh, if we mulligan, we risk hitting Elleran, which is a little concerning, but finding Uma slash Agora seems like something that's important, so. I hope they don't do it loot box. They're not going to. CDPR isn't greedy. They're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do something that's gonna piss off the community. Like that. Like, loot, nobody... It's kind of sad. The other day there was a presentation at one of these things. I think it f was for Borderlands 3. They're like, oh, our, our system's not going to have loot boxes in it, and the crowd cheered. Yeah. Pretty sad. <laughs> oh, God, a pint. Speaking of sad, this man is going to be very sad. That's a 20 point muzzle. Some 15? Okay, it, it's it's 15 if he kills us, so it's a 15 point muzzle now, but it's still a 15. It's still pretty decent. And a math? Okay, it, it's 20 if he passes. Whatever, chat. It's like saying Gabor is a 5 point gold. Well, yes, it is a 5 point gold in round 3. Not false. What if you buy cosmetics with aura? They won't do that. That doesn't make any sense. Cosmetics will cost real money or premium powder. Otherwise, there's no point. So I slammed the R&R &R because it keeps up and we need to weave it in because obviously he's going to try to push us. It's going to be powder or money, but the only reason it would be money would be if it's in like a, like a package deal. Like the Crimson Curse thing. Otherwise, it'll probably be powder. Mother will be proud. I think this deck isn't bad except Agora and Uma. No, those are my win cons. You can't cut them. These are my win cons. It's the only way to win. Can't cut them. Can't cut your win cons. I like the way you die, human. So the problem with Elf Squayatal is not its early game. The problem with Elf Squayatal is it doesn't have a win con. So that's kind of the idea with Francesca. You make a win con. Slaughter them to a man. Win con is R and R, not necessarily, because like R and R is gonna be useless in round three. Ay ay ay, ay. mate, that's big. I don't appreciate the thickness of that card. Wait, that wasn't... Wait, how big was that hit? It hit a Dragoon? It was only worth 7 points. Those are shitty skags. This is 4, 9, 10, 11. Ah, shit, it's not enough. That makes me sad inside. This isn't enough. I shall not fail. <clears throat> we shall drive the Eggman into the sea. I'm not gonna blow my leader because my leader is worth like ten points. The question is, what do we play here? The correct answer is it doesn't matter. Cause Gaven, yeah, it's a gold card, but it doesn't do anything next round. It's like a three or four. Dragoon. Well, Dragoon is worse if I draw Lacerate, so the correct place to play Yavin. Yeah, Dragoon's also proactive, which is important. Dragoon's just always better. I mean, we're fine. We're on even, which is technically bad, but I have a leader and he has, like, kind of a leader. Alright, Pumpkin, you ready? Fetch. Okay. 
I keep the uh, the twos over the others because he's already played Sursa and Cucumbers, and let's say he has like Malayan or something. Malayan only does something like four damage, so like splitting up just saves us points. The time of the white we don't want to boost front because it plays into Skirmisher. Um, yeah. We want to keep the uh, the Archer because we can use it with Muzzle if we play like a six or a seven. The real question is, what is Agora? Alright, so we play Agora here. We're looking for, like, Muzzle, Nagflar. Yeah. Something to find this. Your news okay. Seems alright. I mean, okay, that's a 10 for 11. It's technically not good. <laughs> Which is pretty sad. I mean, it's fine. 10 for 11, whatever. It's not amazing, but it's, I, it, it'll win me the game, for sure. It's still a 10 for 11. 10 for 11. If I could play a card that was 10 for 11 100% of the time, I would play that card 100% of the time. No questions asked. Ten for eleven with two bodies and removal. Yeah, but the removal doesn't matter. It has no impact on the game. Oh yes, let's have some fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can go again! <laughs> this is not correct. I don't care. Freya? Bronze unit? We have a five. Whale is worth three, and this is worth always create? Okay, sure. Just for you, love. <laughs> Alright, so we lost a point on this, but I don't think it matters. He gets four, he needs... Okay. <laughs> so is this deck tier one, if we beat a tier one deck? Is, is that how is that how that works? I've suffered much. Uh oh, we queued into tier zero foul blood. Uh -oh. Your flips will not save you, Dwarf. I'm keeping the muzzle because I might be able to roll like Olaf or Arnold. Or not Arnold. Uh, Wild Carl. Best thing you created from Uma? I created a spear tip the other day. It was pretty good. Enough gob flopping! Let's go flopping! May your sword and arm be one. Shit, I need to remember my list. Does my list have three damage in it? Yeah, it does. It has... Can't remember the name. The card that does four damage. So we have to TA it. Yeah, 
Yeah, scout. Unless he runs Geralt. If he if he runs Geralt and Cleaver and you're both in this opening hand, I lose. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I can't beat that. You'll beg for death. Not afraid? You should be. Oh no! He has the information. Mm. He knows! to taste Skellige steel. Mate. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. not correct to heal because it plays into uh, scowl and I'm losing points I'm bleeding I don't think it's correct which makes me very sad but whatever My patience to the test. Slaughter them to a man. <clears throat> I could have muzzled it, but losing R and R value sounds bad, so yeah. Pansy. <laughs> Lol. I think we're good. I think we got out. I think we win round one, which is important. Song? Survival. That's the only virtue. I'd rather not blow muzzle in round one if I can avoid it, because it's worth 10. Also, I'd like to be able to pull out Aelorn, because the reality is, if he doesn't kill one of these offs here, round's over. If I slam this, pull Aelorn out, round ends. All right, we got out of round one. All right, Pumpkin, you ready? Agora, Uma, Lacerate, go. Good. Good. Almost perfect. Well done.
<laughs> How do you do that? As long as, like, so CDPR favors shitty decks. If you play a shitty deck, you draw better. That's just, that's just how the game works. So when, when, when you queue up a Mimi deck, you're more likely to draw well. Right, this is this is CDPR's way of thanking you for not tryharding. Seems like solid logic. Yeah, of course. Where's Nilfgaard Mage? Nilfgaard Mage isn't shitty though, it's good. We're winning a lot of games with it. My nail! You're winning because of Regis, but not the mage. Yeah, but the mages help. With the combination of the two. For sure. You're good. Real good. I'm thinking about leaving it, not killing it, because the real. Eh, I don't actually like that. So like, yeah. Mm. Like the logic is somewhat sound because of lacerate, but it's not actually correct because I want to lacerate my front row, so eh, it doesn't really hold up. Why would you leave it? Because lacerate will deal with it, but yeah. Not correct. Two point rag madrug. Pog chump. Guys, are you ready? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Oh wait, no, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say if he had the like one of the big golds in deck, I would Uma into uh or Agora into Blue Dream and steal it. But yeah, it doesn't work. All right, pumpkin. You ready for muzzle numero dos? All right. I mean, we just create like a Hjalmar. I mean, how hard can it be? Yeah, that'll work. Wait, no, 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 that will not work, Pumpkin. It'll go to two and then transform. Team <laughs> Vigo. That will not work. Um. I mean, we do it anyways, right? Because the four never lives. And I can't proc the four. Eh. Okay. Having Muzzle there would have been a game changer, but I already blew leader. But the reality is, like, yeah, he would have just saved pings. Freya's bulwark. Oh, that's, that's really what we good. Are. Peace with humans, I buy thus. What if we had flip-flopped and done the other way? Okay. Doesn't matter. Why have you summoned me? 
Uma Leo? Maybe. I fear nothing. Shit. I needed that. Cause we were gonna yank out Aileron. I shall not fail! We can't yank anymore. If he doesn't kill that, we're like in business. Alright, I mean we can create an elf, technically. We can create like an Isengrim or like a Turvial. So what I'm actually going for here is oh, I'll I'll tell you in a second. Name kill! You guys ready? Nah. Bork. So, this looks good, but it's shit because he just pings the Heim with his leader. You guys are saying good enough, but it doesn't work because he'll just kill it. He'll just, like, he has five leader charges still. So he can just tank into this. Altalus? He has Olaf? Okay, but he can still play around it. The The crack line is just bore. It's still a seven. I mean, how much is Uma? Oh, I guess it's not a seven. <laughs> All right, so the entire game comes down to this flip, right? Where the five goes. No, it had no impact. It didn't matter where the five goes. Wait, we beat tier one's foul blood. What does this mean? Maybe the title is real. It's a true title. Can't be that bad. Maybe it's actually good. You hate ties? I mean, if it's tie or lose, I'll take a tie for my MMR, but whatever. My folk have suffered much. Kinda sucks we didn't draw R and R. R and R was a free win. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, we drew R and R this game. Fog. You lost to a terrible player. He was, I mean, the the debt laugh in round two was kind of weird, but it would have been a five. Right? If you think about it. I would like to play Aldane, but is he good? Yeah, he's good, just don't get stream sniped. And he's a great leader. As long as you're not streaming, he'll do very well for you. Can you run Curse of Corruption in this deck? You could, but it's expensive. Is it really worth it? Yeah, it's good against monsters, but the problem is that's about it. And it's not like, yeah, it's good against monsters and that's about it. And that's not a good enough reason in my opinion to play it. I was hoping you would say that. Because there's not that much monsters. I guess it's good against SK now because of Saw Blood. Eh. Yeah, I guess it's okay. You could if you want. This deck needs less units? No. That's not true. Swords I smile at. Weapons laugh to scorn. The units in the list are fine. You need units because you need elves in round one. Why not Isengrim? Because Isengrim is only... It's the same reason as Call of the Forest. They're good cards if you draw them exactly in round one. If you don't draw them in round one, they're shit. So I just don't play them. Because I'm not going to play cards that are bad outside of the round. That's just asking to get RNG'd.
They can hide. I'm more scared of this than this. I could kill either, because I can kill this with this, but... Why are people playing NR? NR is actually not bad. NR is pretty decent. I think Shawblood and uh, Arnold are better, but NR is okay. Do I go deeper? Do I want to thin AL or not? That's the question of the day. Okay, I'll go one card deeper with this, but then I'm passing. Because I don't think he's doing this in one card. He gets plus two on this, so he's 13, so he's playing eight to punish me. And if he punishes me, we just play Aelorn. Check Discord. What am I looking at? You just at me. So what? Now what? I'm here, now what? Eh, this is my pass. If you aren't playing cards that are only good in round one, then how are you so how are you going to show your superior skill to your opponent? I'm not clicking on this link chat. I I see the link, but I'm not clicking on it. What the shit is this? Why is my face moving back and forth? These are great. <laughs> oh. I agree, Francesca. Onward, right ahead. The reason I- okay, I guess we're going deep. The reason I was waiting on this is because of Selkirk. I didn't really- but like, because he is best now, I can't really interact with it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. This is getting kind of dangerous. You have two or three screens, only two. I almost bought a third, but I realize it's probably not necessary. I shall not fail. I guess we're going all in. If we get blood next round, we just auto lose the game. That's the problem. And it's full test. Full test likes bleeding. Uh, I don't know. I think we have to commit. So he uses one. Nah, he used to use one, but he bought a second. You sure as shit me. can't I can't go another card because he is best and like if you dump salt Kirk I just lose the game if you play lock fist yeah I lose the game if I had gotten another card deeper it's just game over we need a sports channel in discord no we don't do we really just like talking just talk how about that go into general and just talk amongst yourselves how about that use your mouths and talk to each other Five head. Are we gonna get bled? As you come up. Not afraid. You should be. Do you have an Oreos channel in your Discord? I do not. Why do we have Farseer in the deck? Because it has the word elf on it and it's a four for four. And four for four is fine, and every now and then it hits a two and it's a six for four. Just a good card. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 
Um, okay, let's do some basic quick maths here. 4 plus 7 is 11. That's enough, isn't it? Sounds like a I like the way you die, human. There's no way you go a card deeper here. It's so risky. You 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 have the potential to lose the game on the spot. Don't we win? Well, I guess it depends on Uma, but we, our leader typically is better than full tough in a short round, especially if we can top deck Muzlol. Muzlol, please. Oh, Pog. All right, so we have to turn one Uma because there's nothing better to do. Alright, so we're just gonna kill everything he plays forever and ever. Nah. The good of magic. That is what I serve first and foremost. Meh. I agree. Meh indeed. I don't wanna muzzle that. But can you do this? <clears throat> Muzzle drunk. Humans are not to be trusted. So the logic behind this is Muzzle is wrong because I'm never gonna lock anything, because anything he plays, he can just play later on. <laughs> I mean I mean, there's no card that wins here. Like, Gaunter's cute, but it's not gonna do anything. This next short round is really good. <laughs> 